Good evening, everyone. I am so honored to be joined by one of the Columbian Foundation's 2019 honorees, Darren Rispoli. Darren, how are you? Very well, yourself today. So you have a very eclectic career. Tell me where it all started. I opened up a aircraft cleaning business. 35 years later, I have 14 locations across the East Coast, and it all stems from Rosemary uh, supporting me, backing me, and standing by my side. So you were balancing this business, though, while serving as a fireman on the North Fire Department. Well, yes. So let me tell you how that all began. So my father-in-law, he was and retired after 30 years, a NARC fireman. He said, if you want to marry my daughter, you need to take the NARC fire department test and give my daughter the stability that I gave or that he gave the family. Well, 27 years later, it was the best thing I ever did in life. That's where then I met Chief Johnson Tenney. 9-11 we did together. Me and John actually went over in his pickup truck together to go help. John was a great, great mentor and a great supporter of everything that I was involved in. You've parlayed a lot of that goodwill too into being very philanthropic in the community. Do you mind touching on some of the organizations that you're involved with? St. Lucie's Church, Newark on 7th Avenue, I was a, I'm a Catholic person, never really, really believed so much into it until I met Father Luigi. And that's when we, together with the parish, um, started the Novena Mass. This year, actually October 18th, is going to be our seventh annual Novena Mass for all emergency responders. So finally, I want to just touch upon, and you talked about this before, your, your old school father-in-law, Italian yes. father-in-law, but talk to me about your Italian heritage. Old school Italians, everybody always all lived together. Meaning my grandmother, my aunt, my uncle all lived in our house. My father being the youngest took care of everybody. My grandmother was uh, from Naples and Rome and my grandfather was from Sicily. Migrated into Newark, that's where they met. And needless to say, um, nine children later, um, those big families, people have no idea what they're like unless you live in it. And it, it is actually an experience that I wish people today could have and see what it was like. Absolutely. Well, that's what the Columbian Foundation is here for, to kind of you know, carry on the traditions that our grandparents and parents have set forth. Yes. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's an honor to be represented tonight with the Presidential Award of 2019. Thank you, John Centeni and the Columbian Foundation for recognizing me. I would like to thank the other honorees tonight that I am here hosting with. It is an honor and a pleasure. Thank you to my family, my friends, for all being here tonight. My boys, Vincenzo and Anthony, I love dearly. They're my pride and joy from birth. Rosemary, the mother of our sons, my best friend, my mentor. She's my rock. She's made me the success that I am today. My brother Dane and his family, thanks for being here to support me. My in-laws, Tony and Ann Apostolico, your support has carried me a long way. My mother Marie, my aunts and uncles that have passed, my father John, sorry that he's not here to see this day. Thank you to John Centeni, my mentor, looks over me like a brother, the Columbian Foundation for recognizing me and seeing what John sees in me. To the Newark Fire Department, 27 years of my career, it couldn't have been any better. St. Lucie's Church, thanks to them taking me in 
and adopting me like family. My boys, I couldn't be any more prouder of you for being so successful in life and just thank you for being my children. Again, to the Columbian Foundation, to all the honorees tonight, I am so honored that I am going to be on this platform being recognized with you all. I am looking forward to being a member of the Columbian Foundation so I could also support our Italian heritage.